What's good everybody, AOP's here, and I'm here to take advantage of the service being down and there not being a lot of content for Shinobi being put out into YouTube. So hopefully this reaches the people of Shinobi Striker, like the community needs more, and I'm here to provide. <clears throat> but without further ado, um, I talked about it in my previous video, the state of Shinobi in 2024, but uh, I really want to have custom clothing stats unlocks if you own the clothing. So what I'm talking about is basically uh, if you have any SS clothing, you know, for healers or defense types or, you know, attack types and stuff like that, you know, I want to have like, you know, those clothing stats that are for those outfits unlocked in the ninja tool shop for from Tenten. You know, um, with the, I think, the addition of, no. was it Kawaki or the DLC before no, Kawaki, um, are you. the developers uh, no, gave us no two new clothing stats that were able to be put on in the shinobi boot shop um that were previous clothing outfit stats uh for an anniversary outfit that they gave out which is awesome right and that allowed for like you know people to start having like you know more diverse bills or you know more bills that had plus and minuses that you couldn't tell unless you were fighting them for real for real but i'm saying all this to say that I think it's yeah, awesome that you know they did that because it shows that it's possible because I don't know if anybody else remembers this I think I'm the only one that remembers this but way back when they added the first attack type um, clothing stat they said that they're going to add it later on into the shop and they're going to do this with more outfits that they were going to lease later on eventually they never did it right we're here and they never did it except for those two clothing stats that you know came out so I'm just saying like, hey, let's do that with all the clothing stats, all the outfits that we have possible. You know, we can still lock it to, you know, whatever class that it was for. Like, you know, if you put on like a, a healing, a healing, you know, SS outfit clothing stat that makes that clothing item like locked to healers only. You know, you feel me? I feel like stuff like that could be possible. It is possible. I feel like, you know, if they, they put in the work to do it, they could do it. You know what, I think after this video, I'm going to send an email just to make sure that they can hear me if this video doesn't come across their feed. But just think about what's possible. Like, you know, um, being able to... The SS clothing stats themselves has, like, benefited the green greatly. Like, think about that new outfit that came out that people have customized, I think, just the, the bottoms and, like, added an accessory on. To be able to do instant chakra jumps, like, instant max chakra jumps. And like that was like beneficial for like you know different gameplays for like flag battles people were able to do like you know better like flag captures and stuff like that i just think if we did that for like you know clothing stats in general we would be able to see different outfits different play styles a whole lot more freedom a lot more expression of gameplay people will be more invested in their clothing stats than what they already are you know i'm tired of seeing the same people running around wearing the same outfits just because their clothing stats are really cool for that outfit like I think about what the purpose of this game is and it's just to make your own shinobi but I feel like you know when people come to this game they are met with a wall of hey you have to play the best if you want to actually win and like you know there's people like myself that like don't care about winning anymore they want to play what they want to play like you know as you can see in the background I'm fighting my two friends Takamaru and Madatsu and we're fighting just playing what we like to play like you know it looks fun and everything it looks original you don't see shit like this like excuse my language you don't see stuff like this on your day-to-day -day, like shinobi feeds you're seeing build videos not to like you know throw any shade against any other youtubers or anything like that but you don't see originality in the game because it's like you're met with this meta and like you know it's hard to balance a game where so many things are being added and so many things of what players change but like I feel like once you see a trend, you see like a certain play style, if you feel like it may be oppressive, there's ways to go about it. And it took the developers a very long time to change the sub block on attack types from that to like, you know, sub reduction. Not like actually reducing the subs, but like, you know, reducing the, the cooldown that, you know, you get when you get hit. You feel me? I, I feel like I just confused the fuck out of a lot of y'all, so I apologize. Excuse my language once again. But... That, I said all that to say this, right? You don't see originality because you are forced to play to a certain standard of like gameplay effectiveness in order to like actually have fun and not like get beat up all the time. So 
I feel like, you know, this will benefit the game in a positive way because it's like, if everybody's super, nobody's super, if that makes sense. And it's not taken away from the game because it's like people are still going to strive to get these outfits. One, because maybe they like the way it looks, but they may be going for the stats connected to that outfit. And I feel like, you know, if they put in this time for the game, bro, they will see a blossom of creativity and like, you know, ingenuity in the game. Like, hey, people are going to be like, hey, look at this super duper powerful attack I built, um, focusing on the first hit of a combo with all these stats I'm doing. Like, people are going to see different types of builds and be like, hey, I wonder what I could do and start the craft. Like, I don't see any negatives that can come from this. Like, you know, I have a couple of friends that will be like, hey, but, you know, there's no point in getting an outfit if you if you got the stats unlocked. But that's the point. Like, if you get an outfit, it's because you like the way it looks. And, like, you know, the SS outfits do be looking cool. People go for aesthetics. Like, they come... No. SS outfits don't even look like a lot of the ninja stuff that we have. So if you're not going for, like, a ninja vibe in the shinobi world, you can go for that with the SS outfits. But I'm over here just going crazy with all these words and shit. Hopefully I didn't talk your ear off, but that's all that I had to say. I'm going to let some more of these clips play out, but I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Ayo, peace. Peace and out. I'm dead. Oh, I'm not. I thought I could hit you with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, that's. Mm -hmm.